Hi everyone! Hello! Hello everyone! How are we? I am here! I was nearly late, but it was a kid, so I've got an excuse. <laughs> and I can prove it as well. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Hello everyone! Oh my goodness, everybody's here. Do you know the same names every week? It's just so lovely. Um, hi Christine, hi Zoe, hi everyone, hi Lee, hi oh, Marla, hi. Oh, and I saw um Samira, hello, hi Sharon, Mandy, hello, hi Penny. Paula, oh, oh my goodness, I am skipping some. Janet, hello. Oh my goodness. And you're all to hi Denise. Hi Gerda. Oh, over a foot. Well, Marla, I'm sorry, but I'm not talking to you. You have over a foot of snow. Nope. Not talking to you. <laughs> if you have snow, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> On the other hand, if you have sun, I'm not talking to you either. <laughs> it has been wet and dreary all day today. Actually, I need to turn this down. Um, you know, the weather has been atrocious, but never mind, never mind. We've got our crochet to make us happy. <laughs> And that was the title of today's live. So I'm hoping that we can share some tips and tricks on how we can make ourselves happy with crochet, even if the weather doesn't make us happy. But also, of course, we're in a bit of a situation this year. So let's see how we can crochet ourselves happy. Now, the reason, obviously why my phone hi hi everyone uh, why my phone was still on sound and why i still had it in my hands was because i've been on facetime with my darling daughter since about quarter to eight so three quarters of an hour and she's helped me do my makeup now if you think it looks too much today then can you please blame her? <laughs> I'm hoping that it looks okay. She was like, no, you need that there. You need this there. Oh my goodness, yes, Rachel. She's called Rachel. And she was like, oh my goodness, you know. No, mother. So she phoned me first. And thank you, thank you. Um, she phoned me first and I said, look, I've got to go and do my makeup. I said, can we FaceTime? Because then, you know, I can see you and you can give me tips. She looked all made up. She was like, you know, I'm going to show you what she looked like. And I was like, Rachel, really? You're at home and you're looking like this? Yeah, she said, you know, we do this. We, we dress up. She, she lives in... Um, Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, she lives, obviously, she's a student, so she's got uh, a shared house. And uh, they're sort of into this habit of, well, actually, I think it's probably making themselves happy, you know. Um, they're in a habit of doing exercise every day. They're going for a walk every day. At a, they agree on, a, on an hour and then they go for the walk. And so today they agreed that they would, you know, put full makeup on and dress up and all kinds of things. You know, some nights they sort of well, drink in their house, you know, just with the, the two or the three that are there living there. And they get all dressed up and all, you know, but I guess that's part of, of coping, isn't it? So let me show you because I took a, 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 a selfie of us on the FaceTime. Look at her. Look at her. Just at home, looking like this. <laughs> I mean, I'll put some makeup on and I'll make myself look nice, but not to that extent. She was posing. I mean, I'll tell you, she was posing. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, <sighs> thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, so I've got her to blame if this is a bit over the top. <laughs> 
But it was really fun and it was really lovely to, you know, sort of have her there. I had the mirror here and I was going like this, you know, as she was there, mother, you need more of this, you need more of that. It was such a lovely thing to do together. So, you know, I know we don't put makeup on enough when we're just at home. I mean, I do try to, you know, sort of get my skin to breathe a little bit and sort of the other day I put double the moisturizer on. <laughs> I was sort of glossy all day, <laughs> you know? So, yes, I mean, I've been doing that. I've been giving my face sort of rest days. So, um, you know, I'm thinking that's good as well, you know, just to sort of have an extra, um, extra good clean, extra um, toner, extra moisturizer. And, yeah, like I said, I was, you know, uh, it was shiny all day. But I knew why, and so it, it, you know, it sort of it perked up my skin, made it a little bit softer, you know, <laughs> and I was happy, you know, it was something I wanted to do. I thought it might, you know. Thank you. Yes, Valeska, it was a lovely, lovely time with my daughter, and you know, that's the thing. Crochet can make us happy, but it's the little things these days as well, isn't it? I mean, it was quite unexpected that she would phone me. Uh, we do normally phone on a Sunday afternoon, um, but I called her and my son and there was no answer from either of them. <laughs> the rascals. <laughs> um but you know, I I did tell them, you know, I let's let's try and phone every Sunday afternoon. You know, they're students; they don't want, you know, they don't want their mother there every day. Um, and then we'll try and catch up. But we're always sending messages and pictures. So I mean, we know what what each other has for dinner, you know, because we just keep on sending messages, and we also send them to my mum. So is my mama here? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I do try to shower every day. Rachel says yes. <laughs> Important. And do you know what? On purpose, I will also skip a day because I think it's good for my skin. <laughs> but only if I know I'm not going out. <laughs> if it's just Derek wandering around in the house, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, sometimes. You have to do these things, you know, and, um, you know, I think, well, it saved my skin a little bit, saved a bit of soap, saved a bit of water. Why not? <laughs> but no, I mean, obviously, you know, there is a bit of a routine. But yes, I do. I do skip a day sometimes, Rachel. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I try and keep up with the kids, you know, uh, at a regular interval. And so it was really, yes, Waleska, indeed, it was really, really nice. So normally I'm calling them while I'm driving um, because I have to go and pick up Dirk from work. But now today it was like, oh, this is quite nice because she had a question, you see. She had a question. So mother knew the answer, you see. Um, and so, yes, I uh, was able to help her there. But then, of course, I had to get ready for the live. And I said, why don't we, you know, phone so I can see uh, I can see you and then she uh, you know and you can give me tips and then of course she looked like that and I'm like oh, excuse me same makeup here what did you put on your eyes what did you you know obviously I'm, I'm, I'm only trying <laughs> oh Betty that's great yes my daughter I uh, used to live in Reading but now she's in Portsmouth so there we go <laughs> Oh, yes, indeed, Ingrid, that's absolutely right. Sometimes you do just need to put up, you know, for me, the minimum when I'm like, you know, wanting to cheer myself up, the easiest and the nicest for me is just the lipstick. The lipstick is there, I put it on and immediately you sort of feel different. You know, that's why I always, you know, last year as well, I was always saying, you know, lipstick on. Um, and actually, there's a whole story behind that lipstick and I think I might tell you that today yes yes because that is about making yourself happy uh Karanjit um Rachel is in um um 
Portsmouth University and Thomas is in London. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it, Alison? When you have a weekly set, a weekly um, date, basically, where you get in touch with your children, especially, you know, like, like now, obviously, you know, students, you don't know where they are. Um, well, mainly they are in their accommodation at the moment, of course, with, with the situation. But you know, you never know. Um, had things been different, it would have been much more difficult to get a hold of them. Uh, so, yes, I'm really pleased that we've got that weekly sort of the weekly date where we talk. And then, you know, well, every day I'm sending them my, my dinner. I'm sending them what I'm doing. You know, there's always messages going um, back and forth. So that's really, really nice. Yes. Hi, Julie. How are you? <laughs> oh, hi, Petra. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, Julie, hand cream is nice as well, isn't it? Yes. I also have um, the thing with, with um, nicely smelling body lotion. That helps me as well. You know, after the shower, if you put that on and then if you sort of get a whiff of of the body lotion at an unexpected time. That's, and guess what cheers me up as well? These lights here, they cheer me up so much. You would not believe it. When I walk in here in the morning and it's dreary outside, it's really sort of dark in, in the office. And I put those lights on and it gives it a little bit of a glow and it's just so, so lovely. Yeah. Claudia, it's it was you know it was the normal way of it. It was what was happening. They've got the age. They've got to go to university. It was always going to happen. So you know we were happy that they wanted to go to university. So that's how it goes. And of course now, you know it's a bit different. They did go because all their courses are taking place um, online, and they're just in their accommodation, and they are they have their family bubble, you know, in their accommodation now with the people there. So that's how it goes. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is my mama. So. Voila. Okay. So I have a really nice story about this lipstick. Okay, and it involves my mum. Okay, so let me tell you why it is that my mum showed me that lipstick can cheer you up, that it can make you happy. Okay, now it's not for the faint hearted. Okay, right. So when I was a young mother <laughs> and I had two babies in nappies, we decided to go on holiday. Now, this was, of course, with their dad, my ex-husband. And so the four of us were going on holiday and my mum was coming along because my mum lives in another, in Belgium. And so it would be nice for me to spend time with her on holiday. And of course, then, you know, with the two babies, she could spend time with them. Obviously, I could spend time with them and, you know, it would be a wonderful time that we could spend together, right? So we left here by plane to Spain. So two babies, my husband, then my husband, and then my mum and me. And um, we have a friend who lives near Heathrow, so we always left our car with him. So my husband then dropped us off at the airport, and then it normally takes 20 minutes for him to go and park the car and come back. It took him a bit longer and we were worried, but it was fine. I'll come back to that later. Then on the plane, I was worried. Two babies, one crawling and one who was just two on the plane. You know, it's a bit iffy, you know. But they were both so quiet. Rachel slept the whole time. Thomas was really quiet. He was just quiet. He was not fussing. He was sleeping he was I was like wow this is going well you know I had an inkling of what was happening but there we go and of course my mum was there so I was having a chat with her and anyway we land we arrive we hire a car and we go to an apartment that we rented 
But of course, it was dinner time, so we just dropped everything off. Ah, I forgot to tell you, my mum's suitcase didn't arrive. So all our suitcases were there except my mum's. So it took a while because, of course, you know, you sort of have to wait for, you know, for all the suitcases and my mum's suitcase didn't arrive. So all she had with her at that point was the clothes she was wearing and her handbag with some stuff in it, you know, what, what you normally have in your bag when you're traveling. And so, yes, of course, so we went to the car, went to the apartment, dropped everything off because we were quite late now, and we just rushed out again and went to a restaurant. We got there. We ordered paella, three adult portions, and two child-sized portions for children who didn't even eat that much right? We, we weren't thinking, we were so tired, and then the suitcase, it, it upset my mum a bit, you know. And we'd only just ordered, and Rachel was still in her little pushchair, because I hadn't taken her out yet, and she threw up into her lap, and of course, yeah. So then my her dad said okay that's fine he said I'll just take her to the apartment and he looked green he actually he looked gray he didn't have color he looked and I looked at him I said what's wrong with you he said well actually I threw up before we boarded the plane when I went and parked the car I was like why didn't you say anything you know so anyway I sent those two off back to the apartment. Mum was holding Thomas because, of course, I dealt with Rachel. I turn my way, I turn away, I turn back to Mum. And what does Thomas do? Yeah, he throws up all over my mum and all over her clothes. Remember, that was all she had. She had no other clothes with her because her suitcase hadn't arrived. So she said, um, Anya, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to go to the apartment as well. Okay, so she left the apartment. And guess what? I sat there and six paellas arrived. Six paellas. And I went like, can you wrap them, please? <laughs> I mean, you know? So, I get back to the apartment with six doggy bags. <laughs> and of course, yeah, so mum sorted the kids out. They get, she gave them a fresh, uh, you know, undressed them, fresh clothes. She said, yeah, I've got to do something to myself as well, you know, because she said, this is all I've got to wear. I said, right, okay. Um, this was now nine o'clock at night or something. Um, and of course there was a washing machine. I said, well, just, you know, take it off and I'll, I'll put, you know, put whatever, you know, go and have a little shower or something like that. We'll make your bed and, um, you know, I'll, we'll deal with other things in the morning, right? We all need rest and, uh, I'll go and buy you some clothes in the morning because obviously there was no suitcase and, excuse me, washing the clothes, I know, because we'd been there before, it does not dry, you know, it takes days to dry over there. So anyway, we washed the clothes, um, I hung them up, we all went to bed, and um, in the morning, of course, I had left my suitcase downstairs, and I just, you know, I I was looking in my suitcase, and I said, Mum, what can you wear? Because... You know, um, we didn't have, we don't have the same size. Um, so um, I went for my shower and my mum was there and she, I, I knew she was unhappy, obviously. She had no clothes. She had, the, the only clothes she had were wet. She had a handbag and that was it. 
and I thought I was having I was I was in the shower and I thought right I'm going to make a plan because that way I can cheer her up and we'll have breakfast and I will get dressed straight away and I will go to a shop and buy her anything you know anything that I think will be fine so I come downstairs after my shower and she's sitting there with my dressing gown on right my dressing gown which didn't fit you know which didn't fit was like this you know and she had lipstick on she said whatever happens I don't have any clothes the kids are ill you know your husband is ill now I've got lipstick on and I was like exactly mother <laughs> so you know through all that she had no clothes she had you know two ill grandchildren her son-in-law was ill I was trying to keep everything together and she put her lipstick on and she sailed through it <laughs> it was so funny and from that moment on, from that moment on, I always, always thought, where's my lipstick? Where's the lipstick? Lipstick has to be used. Lipstick is my saviour. It's going to, you know, it's going to help me. It's going to help me get through this. And it took two more days for her suitcase to arrive. I went to a um, supermercado or something with clothes and I think I bought a huge t-shirt or something like that. I can't remember a long, I can't remember. But yeah, um, you know, she had nothing to wear basically because everything was wet, but she had lipstick and lipstick meant she was saved. <laughs> and I've never forgotten that. And I've wanted to tell you that story for a long time. And now I finally have. <laughs> so, mummy, do you remember this? Do you remember? Oh, that was so funny. I thought, yeah, she's got the lipstick. <laughs> oh. And after that, they were fine. The kids were fine. The next day, everybody was 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 fine again. So, you know, because at one point you think, oh, my goodness, am I going to have to go to the doctor because we've got ill babies, you know? No, it all sorted itself out. The clothes dried. And, um, yeah, all of a sudden we, um, you know, we heard that actually they brought us the suitcase and we <sighs> had a sigh of relief. And uh, yeah, we continued the um, the holiday, basically. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. And then, and then, after we sort of, dis you know, sort of established that everybody was okay, we went to the hairdresser there and we all had our hair cut. <laughs> and that made us happy as well. <laughs> That's what mum just said. Um, yes, I mean, Julie, it was, it, it was a lovely yeah, it wasn't a very nice situation because I think actually I did see a little tear um, that very first sort of morning when I woke up and I thought, what am I going to do? And I, you know, mum was downstairs and thought, oh my goodness, right, let's make some plans. You know, I had my shower and then she had the lipstick on and it was sorted. <laughs> Thank you, Ingrid. Yes, it was. It, Gerda, it was certainly, it was certainly a dreadful start to the holiday it certainly was because you know first of all everybody was ill you know babies being ill that's not very nice but it turned out yeah it turned out to just be that ah yes and we did eat that paella for the rest of <laughs> we ate I did eat some of it I think my mum ate some of it as well because we weren't ill um and I think I just gave the kid, I don't know what I gave, I can't remember now. But yeah, we had that paella in the fridge for, for a few days, which we didn't eat then anymore because we weren't too sure about, uh, <laughs> we weren't too sure about everything uh, then. But yeah, it's it was a good, in the end, it was a good holiday. It took Thomas 10 days to crawl in the sand. He would not go on the sand. He wouldn't. 10 days and then we left <laughs> mm. yeah 
he was ill as well, uh, Amy. So, and he hadn't mentioned it. So he was ill then when we arrived, and that must have also been why the kids were so quiet on the plane, because Rachel can't have been well. She can't have been well. Thomas, he was, you know. Ingrid, no idea. No idea. So it might have just been, you know. Karen, no! You did not just stump your foot and break your toe. I'm sure you didn't. Sit down. Sit down and just feel it. Feel it and see what it's like. Oh, my goodness. Exactly, Sharon. Exactly. Well, I would have, you know, had to have been quick with the bags. But, yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness, Karen. Do make sure it's not broken because that would be bad. Yeah, keep it cold and keep it lifted as well, I think, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so, yes, lipstick cheers us up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a story and a half. <laughs> and nothing to do with crochet. But it has rubbed off on me for putting my lipstick on. <laughs> yes, Julie. Karen, put on some lipstick. It'll sort it all. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yes, thank goodness it's not your hand, because then that would mean you can't crochet. We will have to, um, you know, if it is her toe, she'll have to rest and she'll have to do a lot of crochet. See? <laughs> if, she, if, if she's not allowed to, uh, <laughs> to walk. <laughs> oh. Right, okay, so. Any tips on, you know, not just putting on the makeup, not just having a nice shower or not just, you know, sort of getting cosy in the sofa with a nice film. But of course, we've got our hobby. We've got something at our fingertips that can help us make ourselves happy. And I have to say... Marla, yes, I think it's very, very red, though, the red lipstick shade, isn't it? Yes, I think it is very red. <laughs> now, I have to say, oh, hi, Shelley. Wonderful that you're here for your first live. Welcome, welcome to the group. Right, so I have to say, it's not just crochet that can cheer me up. It certainly is not. It's also the yarn winding. See, there was a, an evening the other day, a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, hmm, you know, sometimes you're like, hmm, I didn't feel like crocheting. I didn't feel like watching something. I felt like doing something, but I didn't know what. And I wasn't in sort of all of a sudden I was like, hmm, I didn't know what I wanted, you know. And so then. I looked at my stash and I thought, I really need to do something with that. I didn't even finish that sentence. I went over, got my, yes, Marla, indeed, got my yarn winder, attached it to the thing. Within five minutes, I was as happy as anything. <laughs> I was making little cakes. I was putting colours together. And yeah, that was such a lovely, lovely thing. So, you know. That made me, that sort of turned my whole mood. Just the fact that, you know, I could make some yarn cakes and I could play around with colours, putting them together. Oh, yes. And like Marla said, of course, squishy mail. Squishy mail. You know, what is better than, you know, some yarn retail therapy, dare I say it. 
Has anyone noticed the date today? Anyone? Isn't it just, Ingrid? It's just so lovely, isn't it? It's a strange thing, though. You know, how can you be winding yarn and make you happy? You know? It's, yeah, yeah. What is the date today? Actually, it's the last day of the month. Tomorrow is the first day. But, of course, you know that tomorrow we have a new pack launching for the February pack. The February pack. And, as a surprise, it will be live when this live is finished. Okay? So... After the live, Dirk will click the button and the pack will be available. So if you want to buy it, go and check it out. It's available until the 10th of the month. We will start sending them out as soon as we possibly can. <laughs> but normally by about... It took us a bit longer this month uh, in January because of all the, um, you know, the um, courier companies and the post. They couldn't work out what was what, ha you know, happening with the EU. So we sent out the rest of the world first and then it took us a bit longer to do the EU. But it should, you know, now it should go a little bit smoother. So from about the 15th, we will be, uh, they should be sending, we should be, sh oh, we should be sending them out. Okay, so... Go and get it, people. If you want it, go and get it. Go and check it out. I'm not showing it here, but go to the website and have a look at the colours and see if you like it. Of course, don't leave me now. Stay here. <laughs> it's not there just yet. It's not there. So it will be live after my uh, live session here with you finishes. So... Again, that is something that makes me happy as well. Of course, for me now, it's a bit different because I don't, well, I don't really buy from the shops anymore. Uh, I buy from where I buy my style craft. And yeah, it's lovely for me as well because I always have a little snoop and see if there's something else I can do something with or a color that I haven't got in my stash. And should I get, should I get some, you know, so yes, squishy mail especially when you have it coming in the front door like impacts like this it's such a joy to see it coming through the front door but it's also such a joy <laughs> to see it going out again knowing that it's on its way to all of you guys okay <laughs> so for me squishy mail has a completely different meaning now <laughs> as you can imagine <laughs> Yes, indeed. So some people have noticed something next to me here. And um, something that also makes me happy is that, in fact, I get to decide what I make and film. And I get to decide what I fancy making and filming and giving you as a tutorial. So there's something I have so wanted to make for a long time. And oh, as you know, I mean, I have completely run out of storage space for any blanket that I'm making, right? Um, the only blankets I'm actually making are the cows. And all the rest, I'm just making mini versions. I do apologize for that, but you all know why. And um, I give you the measurements. I give you the instructions for you can make any size, right? So, ah, something else. It's still about that. So this week, we had the C2C corner 
technique, right? So where you do a blanket starting from a corner, from a corner, zigzag all the way to the middle, your longest row, and then dec you know decreasing again to make the other corner. And we did that in a magic cake with the normal, just three double crochets. But then this week we did it in clusters, right? So I gave you the technique to do this in clusters. Next week, I am going to give you that same technique, but just for um, double crochets. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading um, uh, comments as well. Yes, so I'm I'm wearing my Anna shawl. Yeah, there's a video for that as well. And oh, look at the color! Doesn't it go well with this dress? Although, although it's too warm for this dress. I mean, it's it's a proper winter shawl, and the dress is something you know more. All seasons almost so yes it, it is a little bit warm <laughs> so let's have a look at what I am trying to tell you I'm going to take out what's in there and not show you just yet oh. <laughs> show you in a moment thank you Karanjit thank you so here as you can see I have started a blanket or a piece of crochet from the corner and then I did the double crochets like this, see? So this again is that um, C to C technique, but with just double crochets. And this time I have turned it into an envelope. So I made a big square and then I closed this up here. And I didn't quite, or did I do it in a, yeah, I think I did end it in a triangle here, right? So it's an envelope. Now, you could do this for a big blanket as well. You just need to make the envelope bigger, right? So that's the envelope, C to C technique. No, there were no issues sending to the USA, Claudia, no. But of course, what goes in an envelope? Any suggestions? Any suggestions? Can I see some thumbs up going up there as well? There's loads of people here. There's loads of people. Give me a like if you think you like my makeup. If you like to see what's in the envelope or what was in the envelope I've taken it out now <laughs> yes indeed there is a letter in the envelope and it's written on a page <laughs> a page so I've crocheted a page So I crocheted a white little blanket, which of course you can make bigger if you wanted to. And then I put lines on it with slip stitches. And I also put a margin. I had seen this on Pinterest, oh my goodness, so long ago. And they had actually made this for a student and uh, you know for a proper single size bed you know so they made just the uh, a white but they actually crocheted a blue line in there right so you had to do uh, white double crochets and then one row of blue then back to white and one row of blue now I tried this for the little one but it didn't look right so I decided to do slip stitches so I did slip stitches rows on top of a just a um you know white blanket basically and then of course i did the margin as well oh my goodness uh, yes i know so i know teachers would have such creative th the thing is 
See, the lines are in the right direction. So you could put the name of the recipient. You could put a little stamp here as well, all with slip stitches. I mean, I have, yes, yeah, Lynn. Um, you could here, you could easily write something on it in slip stitches. You know, I was going to say, dear Layla, I love you, you know, kiss, 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 Anya, or something like that. But I didn't in the end because I thought I'll just leave it at this. But yeah, you could, or oh, dear Dirk. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you could, you know, write a little love letter on there or even saying, you know, miss you or something like that. Or the name, if you make it this size, the name of the doll that you're making it for or the, the name of the of the owner of the doll, you know. So there's so much you can do with this. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this. It was like ridiculously fun to make. Um, like I said, I had seen this on Pinterest a while ago and I just thought, right. I'm finally going to make this um, for Layla's bed um, for her size. And it didn't take me long to make that. But yeah, you know, I love it. I once um, made an envelope like this. But when I was in my sewing phase, um, I used fabrics and I my sewing machine. And I made my children an envelope each as a cushion. So it was just sewn closed. Um, and stuffed as a cushion but then on the other hand uh, on this side I put their name and then a little sort of um, I sewn on a little rectangle and then the image of you know a stamp so and they loved that and then I think at the back I said uh, with love or something like that you know and they really loved that cushion um, so yeah I mean there's so much you can do you know um, what's the size? This is obviously, it's the size of Layla's blanket uh, for Layla's bed. So this is about 50 centimeters by about, I can't remember, <laughs> 60 maybe, or 45 by 50, something like that. Yeah. Um, because, um, that's, you know, that's sort of a nice size for me to uh, be able to show you how to make it. Um, yeah, so I really, really enjoyed making this and I thought it was lovely to, um, you know, to be able to share this with you because like sometimes I see things that I really like, um, but then I'll think, no, it's not my design or no, I can't share that, but I do want to try and I do want to make it. Um, but this one then here, yes, I've, you know, I've taken an idea but I have turned it into something a different size and I've made it with slip stitches so you know it's it's it is different from what I saw and anyway you know I could have come up with this originally <laughs> so there we go so that is Wednesday's video and then this is Friday's video so hopefully exactly Joni so what I've done let me fold it for you. Yeah. So, um, don't worry, Sharon. Don't comment. Don't say anything. Just leave it be. So, I fold the... I fold the... Um, the, black, the page up as well as I could. And then I've got it in the envelope now. So this is how I've been keeping it, you know, how I've been storing it. But wouldn't this be a lovely idea to, to you know, to, to make for, if you made like a baby blanket, um, you could make this as well as an envelope for it to go around it. And then they could store it in there. You could put the name of the baby on there with your baby blanket inside. Obviously, you'd have to make the actual, um, you know, the actual square bigger. But um, you do that around your finished blanket. So you make your blanket, you fold it nicely or you fold it in a logical way. And then you start making this. But of course, you have to make this so that it folds over that initial blanket and then of course you know how big you have to make it but yes I mean um you know 
a lovely idea to make an extra part of their um of their present uh for them to keep you know keepsakes in for them to you know keep the the blanket gift in as well okay so i hope you enjoy those tutorials and uh, i have to say thank you for watching all the others that we've recently uh, been um published because oh my goodness um they've been doing so well you've been watching so much yes claudia i know i've i've seen that on pinterest um but i saw the big version you know i saw the big version and i thought oh it's that would be lovely you know but um you know i can't use another blanket i've got so many already um and so a mini version yes tracy exactly a mini version for for the tooth fairy but also remember sometimes we used to give people these um cards you know gift cards put make a mini one and put a gift card in there that would be nice um earpod case if you have those earpods make a little one put the earpods in see i've got ah i've got it i've got it i've got it Wait, wait. Lipstick case. <laughs> Lipstick. I'm going to make one. Yeah, have I got a hook? Yeah, I've got a hook, but no yarn. I'm going to make one for my lipsticks. Of course, you know, you can fit four or five lipsticks in like that. Or just the one. Tea bags. Oh, yes, if you take your own tea bag somewhere, perfect. You know, so yes, it's um the way you make it is a um <laughs> right now, yeah. I'll need someone to come and bring me some yarn. <laughs> I haven't got any. <laughs> um, so what you need to make is the little C to C square which I don't know whether you can tell from this, is like, you know, the envelope, like that. So you've got not... We'll use a cushion. <laughs> so your square, your lines of the square run like this, right? And then you fold things over. <laughs> That's a good way to show you, isn't it? Okay, but everything will be explained in the video on Friday. And yes, just run away with it. Okay, I've given you the, the tutorial with the technique. And then, of course, it's all up to you. So I hope you will enjoy that. And of course, yeah, the possibilities are endless. Yes, in the shape of an actual lipstick. We're not going down the Amagurumi road just yet. <laughs> Maybe, I can't hear him. Where's Layla? Where's Layla? She's not in her bed. Uh-oh. She's not in her tower. Well, that's unusual. I have no idea where she is. No idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see, but I've still got my mandala up. So I uh, we published that on Friday, and I do hope... Ah, Dirk says she's with me. Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> it's handy, isn't it, when your husband can talk to you? over uh over the youtube you know from wherever this goes up there somewhere down to the back office there and then back up and back down unbelievable i mean technology isn't it wonderful when it works <laughs> yep so we had that and i think you're liking those as well oh my goodness it was so easy, so easy to make these. And because, of course, the pattern was sort of quite logical, the way I put it together, so easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed those as well. 
Face masks? Who's talking about face masks? Ah, yes, uh, for, for face, yeah, to put anything really. I mean, you know, you know, no footsteps. You know, I like to put um, in my handbag, I like everything in a bag. I like to be organized, so I have all these pouches in there. So this could work for something in there, you know. Paper tissues. Paper tissues. Aren't they just the ugliest things? Yeah. Paper tissues, you know, pack of paper tissues. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I see sometimes. See, this is the thing, right? How do I decide what I'm going to make? It's really hard because what are they going to, you know, this is the questions. What are they going to like? Is it worth making a video? Um, what have I got to tell them? Do I, um, can I show them properly? You know, things like that. So when I decided to do this, obviously I was doing this because I've been wanting to make that page for such a long time. Um, and it started out as just the page. And then, of course, um, a page. I, I, I've got to, I've got to make an envelope, you know. And then, of course, I thought, right, I've done that C to C cluster, granny cluster technique. So this would be a gidget cook. Do have a look at my website as well because I sell yarn packs as well. Um, and then, you know. All those colors go together too, okay? Um, you know, what What follows on logically from the normal C2C, you know, with the blocks, to the cluster C2C, of course, just the lines C2C. And now, discussing it with you guys, you know, because I always am a little bit doubtful. Do I want to do this? Do I, you know, is, is the video going to get views? Are they going to say, Anya, what have you come up with now? You know, um, oh, that's childish or that's, you know. And I'm always so insecure about, you know, about what I make and is it going to be worth it? And are you going to like it? You know, things like that. So, um, I think you like it. And I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. This is why it's so lovely um, for us to, um, you know, to do that. To talk about it now. Oh, Leila. No, she's here. She's awake. Leila, come on. Yeah, let me move the blanket. Scatcha, come. There we go. Okay, not on the dress. You know, not on the dress. Um, you know, and it's sometimes, you know, it's really hard to know what to do. Well, no, it's not hard to know what to do. It's hard to know if you're going to like it or not. So thank you for all those wonderful suggestions already that we can do with this. Thank you for, you know, really liking it. And yes, somebody said, can you do a tutorial for writing on it? I shall try and do that. I was going to, um, I was going to do that. There is a um, yes, indeed, Julie. There is, there is a, already a tutorial on the channel for writing letters because I did these. Let me show you. I did these and I showed you how to do that. So basically what you would need to do is, is sort of decide which is your line, how high you're going to do them. And then, you know, carefully uh, trial and error, to be honest, because, you know, I don't know what you're going to write. I don't know how long it's going to be, you know, things like that. So, yeah, go and have a look at this uh, tutorial here for these ones. And then it should, you know, you should be able to look at her. Look at her. Hello, Layla. Hello, everybody. It says, welcome to Layla Television. 
Today we are talking about how to get the best scratches in the Western universe. Yes, darling, look at her. Look at you looking. Yes, there, look. Oh, there's everybody there, look. Hello, everybody, she says. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Leila. You've got all your fans there. Look at that. Yes. Doesn't... Oh, oh. no. No. Oh, Leila. Ah. <laughs> Say something, Leila. <laughs> yes, something like that, Christine. Yes, this is my slave. And when I go and sit on my bed, she will brush me. <laughs> like she did yesterday. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, she's got that little bed, right? The one I take for walks. And so it's there and uh, I've been brushing her, but I've been making sure she always uh, is on the bed. So whenever she's on the bed, that's when she gets brushed. So the other day <laughs> or yesterday, she sort of was in the hallway and we were doing that up and down thing. You know what I call the up and down thing. I'm in the hallway. I'm in the kitchen getting my breakfast. But then she's like expecting me to walk into the sitting room you know so I'll I'll be in the sofa anyway then I finally do and she she straight goes onto the bed so that means I have to brush her so I had to brush her <laughs> she's getting smart Oh, Janet, uh, it is possible because we've sent them out quite late. Some have been held up. So do uh, go and have a look or send an email if you haven't had yours. Okay. Did you hear her? Yes, Ingrid, yours might take a while, but we'll see. We'll see when it arrives because it's a little bit further than that. <laughs> Yes, Jenna, she has trained me very well. And Dirk as well. Look at her. But yeah, I mean, um, do you know what? It makes me happy that I can make things that are going to personally make me happy. And then... When I then show you this or tell you about it and I read the comments and I see your reactions and if I then see that it's made you happy, then that makes me double happy because <laughs> it was something that I fancied making. I don't know whether you fancied making it, but I'm making it. In oh, look at her. But I'm making it anyway. I'm making you make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then Leila, look what's happening. Can you see yourself? Look there. Where were you? Where were you earlier? Were you in the utility? No. Were you supervising? In the back office. Yes, I think you were, weren't you? Yes. Good job, darling. Good job. <laughs> I bet she was supervising, making sure that Dirk was doing his job. <laughs> yes, I mean, I, could, I, I get so excited about the projects that I do. And then I think... You know, will they like it? Will they not like it? But over the over the time and every time, you know, 
all your reactions all the time it just it just makes me happy that you like it every time you know there's never anybody who'd said Anya come on what have you come up with now <laughs> you know and I hope I hope that you would tell me because even though I'll think <laughs> it will give me an idea of, of what it is that you like obviously but yeah Yes, Ingrid, she was checking up on me and checking up with everybody else as well. <laughs> I know, Jenna, I know, but, um, you know, I like keeping things a surprise until the Sunday, that is, you know. Um, I, like, I like just to tell you about it and then to get your feeling and then, yes, the videos are coming out, you know. Um, and, you know, like when I take the bed for a walk and things like that. <laughs> Actually, did I, I did do some uh, bed uh, footage as well. I didn't quite take it for a walk. Okay, right. Thank you, Smart Needle Crafts. <laughs> uh, Miranda, actually, she doesn't. Well, she does. Well, you know, I have this blanket. It's the same blanket. So she, I'll put the when she wants to sit on my lap. She'll put, she'll sit here, and I'll be here crocheting. But she doesn't get um, entangled in the yarn. She doesn't. Well, she will do, maybe, but not often. Um, maybe twice a month she'll sort of try and, and catch the yarn. Um, nothing ever has happened apart from one time. Um, I think, was it me or was it Dirk who sneezed? <laughs> so I was sitting across. No, I think Dirk was here. I can't remember who was sneezed, who sneezed. But So we were all quiet watching... Uh, something on the on Netflix or something like that. I was crocheting. She was here, and one of us sneezed, and she flew off my lap like a rocket out of a, you know, cannon. Basically, oh no, that's that's not right, is it? But anyway, she flew, and she took with her in her paws. She took my thread with her, and I. By the time I'd done this to grab the thread, she she was already halfway down the hallway and half my row was um, undone. Um, and then she did lose it half, but the yarn was halfway down the hallway. Um, and that's the only thing that's ever, ever happened, basically. Um, but it wasn't her fault because I think either it was Dirk or me who, um, you know, sneezed. I can't remember who it was. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> And it was yellow as well. I remember it was a yellow um, yarn, but this was years ago. I mean, we still had Ray. This was a long, this is a long time ago. So yeah. So now when I sneeze, I hold her. So I hold her, yeah, I hold her with one hand and hopefully I can, you know, catch uh, with the other hand. So yeah, I do this. And, and because I do that, she's got the safety almost. So I think it helps, it helps. Um, thank you, Ingrid, thank you. Lovely, Penny. Do you know you all saying how lovely it is to be here on a Sunday evening and, you know? Oh no, Ivy, I mean, to be honest, that has happened to me as well. I've been covered in scratches from them, um, especially Ray, but not, not on purpose, but just, yeah. Oh, my goodness, Shelley, in dove grey. That must be so... Oh, my goodness, why did I think of dove grey? Oh, that must have been so... Do you have a picture? Are you in the Facebook group? Please put a picture up of the Castle Shell Poncho if you have it in 
If you have it in your dove gray, please, I would love to see that. Yeah, Sharon, no, she she doesn't. Um, sometimes when I'm yarn winding, because it moves, she might be sort of looking, you know, but I've never had any problems uh, with her at all. <laughs> Blood will be spilled, yes. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Marla. Um, yes, I still enjoy it. Um, and how should I say it? Almost. I still enjoy crocheting very, very much. And yes, that's why, Marla, I do this kind of thing. That's why I do things that I want to make right so if i see something i've seen something i've got some inspiration and i think mm, i'd like to make that then i'll try and make my own version or something similar or something so i do try for me to be honest it's the perfect excuse to have like 19 whips going in one go <laughs> uh, but also yes christine wouldn't it but also um selfishly I love it now because there's a, another side to it as well. There's the filming the footage of me going outside with the projects, taking the bed for a walk, um, you know, um, editing. I found finally found a way of really lovely editing, you know, with my... Um, lacy you know and external um storage and then the, oh, i love doing that. i have new hobbies i really have added new hobbies the editing the filming i love doing that so yes i'm i'm, I'm making the projects i'm filming the projects actually you know under the camera but then starts a whole other side of this channel and I have to say, I love doing the editing. I really, really do. So it's just, you know, selfish of me. Um, but yeah, I love making all the videos and all the, um, you know, the extra videos that we're doing now, like a lookbook. I love making a lookbook, even though it's possibly very dangerous for me, you know, run down that hill again. Come on, do it again, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh joanne i can knit but i haven't done it for years i mean uh, i know you know if i was to pick it up again i learned to knit in primary school just as like i just like i learned to crochet basically um but yeah yes marla i do get pleasure from all the things that i'm doing sometimes and and of course um you know um i do it in such a way that i have time to play around i work a little bit in advance okay and you or i think i've said this before and you know that i do this i work several weeks in advance just so that i can spend time editing that we can go on a nice day for a walk and do the filming that we can make all these lookbooks and all this you know so that's why it all um it's all working out because i give myself the time to do that um and that way thank you jenna thank you thank you she uh, shelly yes uh, you will certainly be let in quite soon because obviously they're all watching the live at the moment feroza right it's really worth making a play blanket. It really, really is. There you are, Shelley. You're in. Oh, wonderful, Beth. Fallow. What kind of colour is that? Is that also a grey? Ophelians. Isn't that just a lovely word? <laughs> yes. Great, Sandra. That's wonderful. Well, there you go. You know, that's why we're here. That's what YouTube can do. It can show you how to do things. And isn't it just a wonderful thing? A wonderful thing. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness, yes. So, you know, wait, 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 there's something there. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, my finished projects are then sort of the basis for other um, things that I like doing now. You know, the editing, I'm getting really, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting, well, actually, that was the question to go back to the start of this live. That was a question that my daughter asked me because she likes editing. She likes making videos. She's got uh, her own YouTube channel as well. Nothing big, you know, just as a student, a little bit of, you know, and I think she hasn't posted for a long time. Um, she had this going with a friend and it, you know, they stopped doing it because of uni and stuff like that. So she's into editing as well and filming. Uh, and that's what she asked me earlier. She said, um, mother, <laughs> and I know when she says mother, I know what time it is, you know. Um, I thought, okay, I'll get the bank card out. No, 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 it wasn't about money. <laughs> um, and she said, when you're editing and this happens and the computer does this and this and that, and I was like, yeah, darling, well... <laughs> I can tell you right away what to do, how to sort it. <laughs> I was feeling quite, you know, it's quite nice that they actually phone you up for advice, even though it was on editing a movie. <laughs> I thought, oh no, she wants to know how to cook this or how to clean that or something like that, you know. But it was, it was, um, you know, it was about my newly found hobby. <laughs> <laughs> which obviously I had problems with as well last year when I find you know when I first bought the computer this thing here that I'm talking to you on and then I started um you know doing because I was always editing on my phone and I wanted to get away from that so I then started doing it on the computer but of course things are slightly different and so I had to learn, find out, froze my computer a couple of times, spent a couple of hours on the phone with Apple support. <laughs> you know? But I sorted it. And I'm so glad I sorted it. Because now I was like, oh, yes, darling, this is how you do it. <laughs> no, uh, Sharon. No, this, uh, remember last year I got a parcel from um, Yarn and Colours and this was one of their chunky, Aaron, no, no, yeah, Julie, Yarn and Colours this was and they sent it to me to do a video with it and um, I made that video, um, it's chunky, yes, and it is actually wool, so it is really warm, but because it's on my clothes and not on my skin, I can wear it. Um, so, yes, uh, I was really pleased I was able to help her. So, there you go. <laughs> mother. <laughs> Hello, mother. Um, I'm doing some editing on a video. Yes, darling. What are you doing? iMovie on your Mac. Yeah, she says, well, I said, well, don't. Yeah, she said, I know, I froze it twice last week. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so there we go. Hi, Corinne. It's nice of you to be here. Yes, you'll have to watch the beginning because I've got a really, really lovely story that I'm telling you. Well, Eska, I think it was October time somewhere. I think it's called, uh, yeah, 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 it's there. It's um, Pumpkin Garland, it was called. Ah, uh, Beth, yes, a pinkish fawn. Okay. That must be lovely as well, though. But that grey one, yeah, I'm thinking about the grey one. I'm definitely thinking about the grey one. <laughs> Thank you, Aleska. Thank well, only only the things I know how to. I mean, I've struggled, obviously. You know, it took hours uh, for me to work out that actually what I was doing was completely wrong. I had to phone up Apple support. I nearly, you know, broke my computer. It froze on me. It wouldn't do anything. They had to save me, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, 
not good. But now, you know, once you know how it works, then, then it all makes sense, of course. But it's not, yeah. You know, they tell they only tell you so much on YouTube, basically. Um, and there's reasons why you use what you do. And now I have this lovely, you know, this lovely new hobby. Yes, of course, it does take time. But then it's all to do with the channel. So I'm fine with that. And, um, you know, it's taking me a little bit less time for finding the basic things in the video. So if I want to make it nice, now of course I've got everything there to make it really nice. So I am really, really pleased that not only, and it makes me happy, not only can I do all the lovely things that I want to make and that you don't go from, mm, you know, are you re really, you know, um, but I'm also pleased that in the process I can crochet, of course, in the process, I can not clean, <laughs> not cook. <laughs> no, obviously, jokingly. Uh, but also in the process, I can film it, I can edit it, I can find music to go with it. Um, and it's a little excuse for us to go for a little walk sometimes and to go and film things. And, you know, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, Corinne. That is so right. You need a computer to get everything to go wrong, you know, that could go wrong. But of course, yes, I mean, lessons were learned. And from now on, I've had, <clears throat> where is the wood? Wood. <laughs> I've had no problems anymore. Um, and yeah, it's technology is there to help you, but you just need to know how. And there we go. That's found out now, and I can, you know, make use of that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did it stop? Okay. Yeah, so I think there's one... Oh, how did I do it again? Was there a pumpkin and then a pumpkin garland, or was it one video? Oh, my goodness, you know... Tracy. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm in the picture, either it's the tripod or my cameraman. Now, my cameraman <laughs> also shouts instructions. <laughs> Can you try um, running down that hill, he says. Um, which one, darling? Yeah, that one over there points at the steepest one. That one over there. Okay. Right, so I walk. I'm like, okay, shall I run down? I run down. I run all the way to him. And he goes, mm, I think we need to do that again. I'm like, really? So I do it again. And then it's like, I'll go and stand on the other side. And then you can do it again. Again? <laughs> I tell you. 20 times I did it. Twenty, And like five times we had you know, the tripod in the picture or the camera bag in the picture. I said, you've got to tell me if that's in the picture. You're the cameraman. You're supposed to see. Who is the person? There's a person, isn't there, in films, and they have to notice these things. Like, for example, how long the cigarette is or how how what the hair was like. Was it behind the ear? Was it, you know, that person. That's the person I need for when I go filming, you know. Uh, is there... Um, don't mention it, Sharon. Please, don't mention it. Is it the gaffer? No, the gaffer is the one who does the cables, isn't it? The person who, who makes sure, you know, like, how much drink is there left in the cup? You know, how what, what's in the background? You know, those tiny bits that are different. Yeah, his name is Dirk, yeah. Continuity, ah, yes, the continuity expert. Yeah, that's what I need. I need a continuity expert to tell me, were you holding the basket in the right or the left hand? <laughs> Things like that, you know? Um, where was the tripod? Is the tripod in the way? Um, what lipstick were you wearing? <laughs> Don't don't give him any ideas, please. 
<laughs> Thank you, Anne. That's why we do it. We want to show you, you, um, you know, bits and pieces of the area that we live in. We will go to a place somewhere and sort of stage a little story there, you know. Uh, yes, like, yes, like wearing a watch in a medieval video, you know, or someone's mobile phone going off or something like that, um, you know. Oh, yes, Claudia, I, you know, we, that's normal in our house. My son calls me mother. <laughs> that's what, what they do. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't sound serious in our, in our family. <laughs> They call me by my name as well. <laughs> there we go. Anya, he says, what? What? <laughs> yes. So uh, the dream catcher, the wooden rings. Yeah. Um, obviously, when if you're in the UK, you can use my link. But I do believe that there must be a wooden or metal ones as well. Christine, I know she's used metal ones. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to sort of, if you rely on a craft store, um, the one that I used in the UK is one of the bigger um, online craft stores. And I do believe they have shops as well, but not down here. It's more up in the north. But yeah, they have a huge selection of, of craft materials so yes that's where i got mine from as well uh some yeah you could get them through from amazon but i try and get it from a shop as well sometimes if you can't get it from amazon um because you know you sort of want to support local basically although this is quite a big uh local one that i supported uh but yeah i i couldn't find them anywhere else so uh ah mandy gosling of course oh that's wonderful mother goose <laughs> yes uh i've they've actually they've called me ophelia before you know as a joke you know oh no you've got to do your ophelia thing <laughs> So, uh, Linda, it's underneath my videos. I have a link to my yarn winder. So if you go to the uh, yarn winder video, you will find a link under there. And um, I do believe at the moment, I think it's sold out, but there'll be lower down. Amazon will suggest to you several similar ones so do go and have a look yes hobby craft as well in the uk julie but do you do they do rings do they do wooden rings i don't know yes a hobby lobby is not in the ink no it's not in england we have a hobby craft anyway darlings i am going to say goodbye my throat is starting to hurt i have been talking for one hour and 23 minutes i've had the best time i've been able to share with you what makes me happy and i think hopefully with things that make me happy i think you can make yourself happy as well because of course you know those look that's what i was going to say as well those look books they are there as well for you to cheer yourself up to make you happy to watch while you're crocheting and to just you know see the things that we have here i would love I would love to see your surroundings as well from your lookbooks. But of course, that's not how it works. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Next week, we will have another date together with our lipstick, <laughs> our crochet and all of you, all of you who are here all the time, thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Bye. Go to the website if you have time and check it out. It'll be live in a moment until the 10th of February. So do go and have a look for that February yarn pack. 
Bye. Bye.